Okay, here we go. Five minutes with Kosho. It's going to show you how to do your um, 6250 gyro with a 480 helicopter on a DX9. And it could even be an IX12 or any of them. Someone wanted to see this. So first things first, let's get into your system setup. I'm going to show you how I assign my channels. Um, we know the model types of helicopter. We know the swash types, 90 degrees. Flight mode setup, here we go. Switch B. Hold switch, switch H. Get out of that. Channel assignment. Uh, first page is just like this. Hit next. You're going to be here, gear, flight mode. Aux 2, switch I. And Aux 3 is flight mode. Get out of that. Telemetry, it's going to be auto configured basically. Frame rate, 11 milliseconds. We're all good with that, folks. Main screen. First things first, click on it. Dual rate and expo. I run 25% expo on aileron and elevator. Throttle curve. Zero, 65% on normal mode, and then stunt one is 75%, stunt two is 85%, hold is zero, of course. Pitch curve, 30, 40, 52, 75 in normal mode. And then, of course, we're going to be a linear in um, stunt one and stunt two, and linear in hold mode. Gyro. Gyro is at 85, 75, 70, 100. You're on channel gear and switch is flight mode mixing mix one here click on it gear to gyro 125% to 0% negative 100% offset switch I get out of that set your timer however you want So here we go. So we are now on the main screen. We're going to go ahead and slide on over here to one of these. <laughs> here we go. Let me turn on the screen. Here we go. Let me turn on the helicopter. So here's your smart ESC page. Um, when you set up a helicopter, everyone should know flat servo arms at center stick. This would be your zero pitch position. The swash plate is now level and flat. And um, basically, you're going to be flat blades here. These are flat. Swash plate's flat, flat. Um, as you go up, it's flat. As you go down, it's flat. So positive pitch, negative pitch left turn right turn left turn right turn forward backward forward backward forward backward tail rotor right turn into the boom left turn out of the boom right turn left turn right turn left turn get into um let's go into your First things first, let's show you how I got this telemetry telemetry menu. We hit, It's auto configured, but you're going to go in the ESC and you need to click on this and you need to go down here to the poles of the motor are 10 and the ratio is 10.18 to 1. You just click on them, you can set them. That's your that's your ratio for an 11 tooth pinion gear and the 112 tooth um, uh, main gear, and it's 10.18 to one. Um, smart battery, you can it's it's set up in here. It's it it's already activated. Um, my minimum voltage I set to 3.4 volts, and it will warn me. So back forward program. Let's get right into it. Throttle high. We're right into it. Um, if I first things first, you're going to go to setup menu. 
so, and start at the top swash plate output setup servos are 333 Hertz and the type is your swash plate type you'll see here that um, it shows you the front of the helicopter is up here and um, this is A, B, and C. So servo A, servo B, and servo C. Um, I call them passenger, backseat, and driver. And then in that case, you're gonna hook A to one, and B to two, and C to three. And look at your order in your manual. Um, I will say that uh, port one is actually servo A and then port 2 is going to be your smart speed controller and then part port 3 is going to be servo B and port 4 is servo C port 5 is your rudder servo port 6 is your auxiliary power from your speed controller okie dokie go back direction um, spectrum servo is probably running normal direction if you pick that swash plate correctly um, but you could change them there if you had to. Sub trim um, so makes your servos level and flat, and you want your swash plate as level as possible. And it looks like I could use a little help on my uh, my channel one, channel two here. So we're gonna bring the elevator servo up, and I just did that. So you can see I'm at 28 and 60. Needed a little trim there. Yeah, negative 28, 58, your numbers are going to be different most likely. That's how you do the swash plate on the output setup. The AFR here, um, you're going to see it's going to say roll and pitch and uh, collective. Roll and pitch are going to be equal numbers, so you're going to basically set up roll by when the blades are on, you're going to put your pitch gauge on the blades on either one at center stick, and then you're going to give it cyclic either left or right and you're looking for 12 degrees of tilt in those blades with your with your pitch gauge so 12 and a half actually is what the manual calls for so i set mine at 12 and a half and it took uh number 74 here in order to get there so since i got 74 for 12 and a half degrees with this particular 480 servo arm that they sell um that will get you 12 and a half at 74 i matched it with the pitch at 74 and then the collective here at number 45 is when you go full positive collective you want to see I'm using 12 and a half degrees actually also on my full positive and then full negative would be 12 and a half degrees so negative positive and um, basically you're going to use your pitch gauge and you're going to set it on there at, at zero stick with the blades flat and you're going to zero your pitch gauge and then you're going to go positive and you're going to take it up to, to uh, 12 and a half degrees and then negative negative 12 and a half degrees Okay, and then we're gonna go back. E-ring, don't worry about it. Phasing, don't worry about it. It's all default, it's already set for you. Um, that's all good. Tail rotor, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna go to output setup, basically. I picked 560 because the Spectrum 6360 servo is 560. The direction is basically reversed right now because I had to reverse it in order to get my, my, boom, my tail to go into the boom for uh, right turn and then left turn, right turn, it goes into the boom, left turn. Um, so when you come out of this, there's a sub trim here. This is how we get that, um, that two degrees of right pitch. Um, if I, if I had my blades bolted on, you'll see that this bottom blade is in towards the boom and this outer blade here is away from the boom. So you're going to have a little gap in between them like that it would be a good two degrees. It's a good um, way to do it. And you'll see if I, you know, pull my blades out, they'd be normal. But I cross them over like this. I got about two and a half, two degrees or so, and that keeps the helicopter from torquing. It does it mechanically so that the helicopter is not trying to rotate or wag. So that's how we get rid of the wag. Um, and you can see here, my swash plate is flat and level. My follower arms are level. Um, my 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 head here is pretty level. Let me get it level. There you go. You see them flat here. So basically, flat, flat, flat. Flat servo horns, center stick. That's how we set up a helicopter. You have to because it's it's linear this way. Um, travel basically your my travel. You know, full right stick took it to 95. Full left stick took it to 82. Just get it to where it doesn't bind, make a bunch of noise. My servo's not going. Eh! 
you want it to just sit there and not making any noise and it's it's fully as far as it can go so there you go on that back there and um, showed you all that so let's get out of here advanced setup don't worry about it it's phasing it has to do a torque of the helicopter and stuff gyros real good probably will never have to mess with it um, you'll see that your gyro settings the orientation is here um, it's in the stock position you got your wires in the front and um, and it shows the helicopter there so there's the wires and it's in orientation one so that's my orientation it's real real simple real real simple um, this is where it gets fun uh, set your flight mode channel here to aux 3 so that you can have your flight mode settings and your gain channel to gear it's the only way I know how to do it that I've seen how to do it so um, once we do oops I need to get back in there um, once I do that and I set my gain channel and all I could come here into the stability mode into safe and just to prove that it's working I'm in hold mode now and you'll see it oops I failed to sometimes it does this you'll have to get back in it I click on safe here go into stability I'm in normal mode now and if I hit them Heck. Okay. Well, I'm having a fun little time right now. Let's just get out of here real quick, guys. Go back into it. Sometimes I've been into it really long. You know, it's just the way it goes. So let's just click in this wash blade. If I click into roll here, I'm in normal mode. I'm in hold mode. So you can tell it's working. My switches are working. Um, basically, because I set that aux three as my flight mode switch. Um, <clears throat> again, we were in setup. Let's just start at the top. Swash plate. This is going to be your roll. I set my roll to 400 to get it to roll. Um, it's set at 270 stock. Um, my PIDs, this is how you get into your PIDs. Um, I could um, say I'd turn this 51 up or 62 up. Well, um, if I go into stunt one, it's now at 50 and then stunt two is now at 50 because I haven't changed it So you can change it in each mode, which is kind of cool I'm gonna leave it at 50 right now until I feel like I need to change it if it shakes or not or it's not tight enough um, Let's get out of there pitch, you know, it's just it could be it's gonna be the same. It's just 50 right now the agility is uh, robotic or natural feeling 95 tends to feel pretty good. That's how it comes um, tail rotor again you'll see if I'm in normal mode or not I can change these um, I can change my degrees per second I actually like 600 and I'm gonna turn it up that's all there is to it and then here's my my, my pids they're all the same right now 85 95 10 um, you could change them though as the head speed comes up so here we go again did that um, it's probably because I'm very close to this right now, too. Day in the life. I'm not going to edit that. You know, it's just the way it is. Safe. Um, someone asked about safe. How do I get it to be in safe mode? Well, normal. I'm going to go right here. You can see I can turn off the stability. And as I go into stunt one, it's, it's off there. But let's say I wanted it to be on in normal mode. Oh, my gosh. Here we go again, here we go again, come on. I gotta get this video to go here. Safe mode, stability, normal mode right now, I'm gonna turn it on. So if I'm on now, then I'm off in stunt one, and stunt two, it's off. So stable mode, <laughs> as it goes off again. It's just been on a long time. Yes, I know, it's doing that. Well, I'm sorry, but because I'm recording. <laughs> Gyro menu, you'll see my gears, flight mode. Now I've done so much, I forgot what I've told everybody. Um, mixing, we already went through mixing. Basically, that's how you do it. So hopefully this is all I'm gonna be on one video. If I left anything out, I'll do another video. I'll look at it now. So anyway, again, here's my smart telemetry. It's all working, and um, you know, if I tend to run this page. I can see the bar right here. You can see my stuff. It's working.
There you go. It's Kosho. I'm out.